Alrighty, hey everybody. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this little demonstration on um, how to how I figured out how to use um, IK and FK switcher from Peter Pachef Pachevsky. I apologize for you know, messing up your your name, um, but boy, he's got this really great tool, um, and it's supposed to preserve the animation that you use from your FK and it puts it onto a locator setup and puts it onto IK, and you can do it vice versa. And then that whole locator setup can then be deleted. This is really great because you can, there are other IKFK switchers, but they rely on you finding the joints. And for a rig, something like say Aang, um, he's kind of in the community, kind of notorious for um, being very difficult to find his joints uh, in order to do that. And so uh, people often rely on their own locator setup uh, deals. And this has been the solution. Um, now, I, I, as a supplement, I use this program called uh, OSNAP. Sorry, it's a plugin. Um, also really great. It's meant to create really quick uh, constraints, uh, parent snapes, constraints, be able to snap items uh, to other items, uh, and then also be able to bake that animation. So um, really, really powerful tool. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, I think there were... Uh, there's a little bit of confusion on what's like the best workflow and this this has kind of worked for me um i think some people use red nine also for like the baking but uh for some reason mine isn't working so all right i'm also using maya uh 2022 uh and i'm on a mac so all right here we go so uh getting started i'm gonna go ahead and as you can see here i have some animation um uh, i have animation from zero to 82 as you can see some wiggly we're always doing the wiggly arm Yay. Okay. All right. So you can see the animation. I am now, before I start any of that, I'm going to go to minus 15. And the reason why is because I'm going to go before the animation where I know that everything on the body is zero because I set it up that way. Just find a space where you can do that. Um, and I'm going to go to uh, the arm, turn off uh, FK, go back to IK, switch to that. All right, now you can see my IK controller. Now, there's a reason why I'm going to do this, It's quite, and it is important. Um, at this point, what I'm going to do is I created this cube at the bottom, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and select that and shift select the IK controller for the, left, the right arm and parent snap. So I'm parent snap that bad boy, okay? And for my own sanity, I'm going to go to modify and just freeze transformation. Okay, so that's zero values, right? Now, select this. I'm gonna shift select the IK controller and I'm gonna parent snap. And now you can see if I hit the, uh, the cube, it will then show you the values and that is like absolute, I guess, starting point zero. Um, that's exactly the same and matched as the FK. Um, controller. It'll make sense in a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is switch back to FK. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to constrain. So parent, child, right click the parent snap, parent constraint. Boom. So now this cube is constrained to this uh, FK um, controller. Now, probably for my own sanity, create a name for this whoops create a name don't delete it there we go r i k uh, uh location q that's what i'm gonna call it whatever now um from zero to 81 that's my animation so i'm 81 sorry let's fix that boom let's go ahead and start using uh peter's tool for IK sw FK switching, I'm gonna go ahead and select from the parent most in the hierarchy. We'll go shoulder, shift select elbow, and then shift select the wrist. And we'll do FK to IK. Uh, I'm gonna hide the control. So if you have any questions about that, if you don't see the controls for that one frame, it's because of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit FK to IK. It's baked. Oh yeah, and you can't see the locators because I didn't show locators. So let's pop that on there. All right, so you can see that. Now you can see it sets up the, a locator setup um, for position uh, of the wrist and the pull vector for an IK control, all right? So, all right, what do I need to do? Why Why is this cube here? Well, uh, if I go to, um, and 
switch back to IK, right? And if I go to, I select the IK controller and then I select the locator, okay? And I hit parent snap, you'll see it flips upside down. And I believe that and this happens on the multiple rigs I've seen. Uh, I've, I've tried this on three other rigs and the same thing happens. And I believe it's because the uh, FK uh, controller is has a different orientation from the IK controller. And, and that's what happens. And I also double check that it's, it is not a, an Euler thing. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I tried it with three other rigs and, and it did the same thing here. So the fail safe for me was that instead of doing this, so as you can see, if I were to bake this, it would all, the whole arm would be upside down. Okay. Um, so the solution to this is to simply just select this icon, this IK controller, select the cube and then parent snap. And you see it's upright. Now at this point you can go ahead and, um, because it's in the correct orientation, you can now constrain the IK to the, the cube, or you can go constrain it to the, um, to the locator. So for this one, I'm just gonna stick to locator so we don't make it difficult. Select the IK controller, sorry, parent, child, and then right click, parent constraint. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and select bake. I'm baking on ones. Uh, you have to turn off smart bake ones. Um, and there you go. So you can see that it's, that's correct. Now we also wanna make sure that we're doing that for the um, pull vector. So I'm gonna select the pull vector and make sure that it snaps to the parent snaps to this, what would represent, represent the data for a pull vector. So, um, let me select, oh, come on you. Oh, it's turning off. So I need to, I need to go to my, uh, um, the pull vector. Oh well, yeah, delete that. So here we go. All right, we're out of 95,000. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back, pardon me. I'm going to make sure that it's, this is the parent, right? And select the child. I'm going to go back to zero. Okay. And then I'm going to right click parent constraint. Okay. And bake. And now you'll see that all this animation is the same as the, I'm going to go ahead and delete the setup. Okay by selecting any one of these locator controls and then hit delete setup and it gets rid of that. And so now you can see that I'm going to hit play. That's, that's all the IK animation. It's, it's, it's insane. It's great. I love it. All right. That's all the FK animation onto the IK controllers. So, uh, and then watch, I'll, I'll just go ahead and select this B, this, uh, controller, turn that, Damn it, turn, turn the FK back on and you'll see, same thing. Same animation, beautiful. And then you just find ways to blend it. Um, so what some of the studios have their own proprietary software and they do that too. Uh, very powerful, very powerful stuff, especially if you're gonna be doing like layered animation. So, well, let's see if, it, if, if we went backwards, okay? So let's go to these controls, the FK, and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna just delete all of those keys. Right? Oh, snap. I want to delete them at here. Well, it doesn't matter. Zero is fine. Let us just, yeah, that's, I can just do it from here. It doesn't matter where I delete from. I want to just select all these guys and just hit delete. So, okay. Uh, now you can see that there's no keys. No keys on the FK, right? And someone asked about how to do um, IK to FK. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this, switch back to IK, oh. and now I need to select the pull vector and then uh, select the um, the IK control, which apparently this works fine. You know, I don't have to worry about going back, uh, like deal, making a cube thing for that. It's, I don't know why, but it works. Select the pull vector and then select the IK controller and then just hit uh, IK to FK. Boop. 
done. And there you go. You can see all these controllers are there and that's meant to be translated onto uh, the FKA controls, right? So now we need to um, select this, switch back to FK, right? Okay. And we're just doing the same thing using O snap. I'm just going to go ahead and right click, right click on this. So uh, parent, child, so make it locator parent, uh, controller, child, right click, parent constraint. Okay. And I'm going to bake that. I'm going to do them one at a time for the sake of, sorry. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to do this one at a time, bake. Okay, good. All right, now parent, child, so parent, locator, child of the control of the elbow, right click, parent constraint. Okay, is it moving? No, it's not. Okay, all right, all right, right click, parent constraint. There we go. Should be moving. There we go. And just big. So I'm baking on ones, so whatever. I'm, I'm sure there's some tool in Anambot will allow me to delete in between keys or, I think you can bake on twos also. Yeah, you should be able to. Um, yeah, so, okay. Uh, now I'm gonna select the locator, uh, parent, and then the child, which is the controller. Right click, parent snap, parent constraint, bake. I'm done. Uh, I suppose I could just select all these. Maybe I wanted to just for, well, sorry, I'm being ADD about this. I'm gonna select this, these controllers, and then I want to bake them on twos. This is just to show, you know, you can do this. I'm gonna bake. There you go on twos. See that? And I'm at the controller. And you can see it's all on twos. But if you want to do ones, it's up to you. So, um, but here you go. You can see that the animation is on the controllers and I'm going to select these uh these locators I'll just hit one of them and then hit delete setup and it's gone and you're good again I want to show you so how uh, if I select the these controllers um you see the keys same animation as the IK same animation yeah, very powerful, very nice. Uh, thank you, Peter, for, for making this tool. Uh, this is amazing. I've done this on about two other rigs as well. So it's, it's uh, pretty legit, man. Thank you very much.